Uh, my grappling's better. We talked and we said that we'd uh, do a grappling match at uh, Chael Sonnen's uh, SUG. So we're going to arrange that and we'll uh, definitely see clearly who's the better grappler than that for sure. Seems like he caught you, I think it was with a, with a left or right hand, I think maybe in the beginning. Did, did he hurt you at all? No, it was more off an um, off balance thing. I think like barely clipped my chin, hit my chest, and uh, I fell, but I was never rocked. My brain was never rocked. I never saw a flash. It was more of an off balance thing, but uh, he was definitely throwing some bombs for sure. Then, uh, you were obviously open, very vocal about that vacant lightweight title fight that's coming up. You even mentioned it in your post fight interview. Are you, just, are you hoping to like stay ready just in case one of those two can't make it to the fight? Yeah, man, I'm going to go back to Eugene and hang out with my kids for a couple of days, but I'm going to go right back to American Top Team and you know, help some of the guys get ready for a fight and keep my weight down. I'm probably going to eat a lot of pizza and burgers for the next few days and drink a bunch of whiskey. But other than that, you know, next week I'll be in the gym and training hard. There were a lot of submissions that you got where it seemed like you were very, very close to getting it. Can you walk me through what's going through your head just among many of those submissions? Gosh, man, I like, I thought I had that Kamora in the first round a couple of times and I had his back and I, he has good back uh, defense, you know, with that choke. And I didn't want to wear out my arms, just squeezing his, his head. So I was trying to be patient, trying to get me the chin. And, um, man, I thought I, I maybe think I could have had if I just would have tried to squeeze and break his jaw. But at the same time, I know he's a vet and he's really smart and he has good cardio. So I didn't want to gas out my arms and, ah, oh, man, I think I could have had a couple of them for sure, but I was trying to try to be smart and be like a vet, like him kind of, you know, and, uh, I just didn't want to wear out my energy, but yeah, man, if, if I could have done it again, I think I would have kept maybe tried a little bit harder on a couple of those Renica chokes. Were you talking to him at all in there? Like, were you saying to him, like, man, what is it going to take to get you out? <laughs> no, I wasn't really talking to him. I, uh, no, I wasn't talking to him, man. I was definitely talking to myself, like, what the hell, Brent, get the damn choke, you know? But um, no, I, I wasn't talking to him. <laughs> Can you just, on a broader scale, give me an, your assessment now of this lightweight division here in Bellator? It seems wide open. You were very upset that you guys weren't fighting for the title. What do you see when you sort of look out at this division now? Like I said, man, I don't want to, like, no disrespect for no disrespect to Scott Coker, Bellator, but I think Patricky and Queeley fighting for the vacant belt is a, like I said, it's a joke, man. Like, Patricky's coming off of two losses. Queeley, who the hell is that guy beaten and who's he fought and he's fought in twice in the last three years. And I think that's a joke, man. Like, geez, I, if anything, mean Benson should be fought, fought for the vacant belt right now. Or I could have think of, uh, you know, a few other guys that should be fighting for it besides those guys. But I think it's more of a politics thing. Uh, Patricio's like, oh, I'm going to give it to my brother because he's my brother and I love him. And so I'm going to give him an opportunity. I just think that's a joke. It's not a it's not really what the, they should be doing. And, and Queeley, I think him just coming from straight blast and Conor McGregor over there, and they're trying to, you know, kind of pump that a little bit. But uh, no, they should not be fighting for the belt at all. I think it's a joke. And like I said, man, I'm going to be in the gym. I'm going to stay ready, keep my weight down. And uh, hopefully I'll, uh, if something happens, I'll be ready to jump in there. But if not, then I'm eyeballing one of those guys, and I'm going to blast them for sure. I mean, your mind, considering your resume, who you fought, former champion. Are you the uncrowned king of this division right now? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, I am, you know? <laughs> Definitely. I'm ready, man. Oh, I'm pumped. I want to take out any of those guys. And I will, man. I, I don't think Queeley or uh, Patricky could last a three-round fight with me. I don't think so. Hey, Brian, you doing? Congrats. Um, so my read on the fight was that it was closer from distance than it wasn't close. Was that the game plan or was that you reading it like I'm when I get in close, I can, I can handle better the grappling. I knew my grappling was better. I knew it. You know, I know I'm, I'm a bigger, stronger guy, more flexible. I, I have 100% confidence in my jiu-jitsu. I trained with Professor Fabiano, and, and he, he shows the beautiful techniques all week long. And, you know, I, I'm just blessed to be able to train with him and all the guys there. And, and uh, man, I, I, my, my grappling feels be the best. I, I, there's nobody in the lightweight division of Bellator that can hang with my grappling. I know that. And, um, yeah, man, there's no way. I'm definitely the better guy on the ground in, uh, in Bellator for sure. Hey, Brent, congrats on the win. Uh, who, who will the uncrowned Bellator lightweight champion face next, Creeley or Pitbull? Man, I think it's a 50-50. You know, when they fought their first fight, Patricky was winning that fight. He was. But I felt he, he started to gas out and he shot a double leg, which he never does. And everybody's like, oh, they need to run it back. He was beating him. But... Queeley hit him with an elbow. An elbow is a legal strike. That's a, a legal, it's legal, man. It, it happened. He got caught with that, that elbow and was bleeding everywhere. And then uh, I felt like 
Patricky was getting tired. That's why he shot that double leg and he lost that fight fair and square. I don't think they should be running it back and doing a title fight for that. So um, in my eyes, if I fight Queeley, man, that guy's done in the first round. <laughs> that guy's done, you know? And uh, I think Patricky's definitely a, a a better fighter, at least on the feet, you know? But I'm going to go with uh, Patricky on that fight. But he just got to work on his uh, his cardio for sure. All right, we'll take one or two more here. Kobe? Great fight, Brent. Take you back to this particular fight, three-round war with Henderson. Did you feel like you had to go in and be calm the whole time, kind of pace yourself? Coming off a loss, I know it's hard, but was that part of your plan? Yeah, 100%, man. I uh, told myself I'm going to come out and blast him and just go hard as hell the first round, but then I thought about it. I was like, man, he's a vet, and uh, I talked to a couple of guys and that's fought in him, and they're like, man, his best attribute is probably his calmness. He stays, he stays really calm and he doesn't get tired. He has really good gas tank. So I thought about that. I was like, man, I don't want to go out there and try to knock him out the first round and, and blow my wad and, and uh, you know, get, get tired the last two rounds. So, and, and I was trying to be like him, you know, he's really calm, really smooth, smooth Benson Henderson. He's really calm and, and he's a vet. So I want to try to be like that. And when you fight somebody that's calm and, and relaxed, you know, it kind of rubs off on you. And if you fight somebody that's going out there and just raw anger and, and you know, all that adrenaline and, and she, it kind of rubs off on you too. So I was like, man, I'm gonna kind of go out there like Benson and just kind of, you know, use my, uh, use my cardio and, and just calm, just be calm and uh, it will happen. And yeah, man. And like I said, it was awesome to fight him. And uh, it's a dream come true to fight somebody like Benson, man. He's fought and beaten some of the best guys in the world at lightweight. So it, it was awesome. Yeah. You're no, you're not one of the best too, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot for the time, Brent. Congrats on the win. Thank you guys so much.